It's Jess Coyinson and you're watching Zapro. T Boone Pickens, winner of the coolest name in Texas contest, has a plan to save energy and the environment. This may sound a little suspicious, especially when it's coming from a self declared oil man and one of Bush's top financial supporters. Pickens is telling the world through national TV ads and appearances that he has a plan to build the largest wind farm in all of America, starting in the Texas panhandle and moving north. The plan calls for 2,700 turbines to be placed on 200,000 acres and will generate 4,000 megawatts of power. It would be the largest wind farm in the country. If you could get 200,000 megawatts of power, generated by wind, that would be good. It seems pretty good, right? Not exactly. T. Boone Pickens, or Boone as his friends call him, is the 117th richest man in all of America. He made most of his money raiding energy companies in the 80s, and he's currently worth $4 billion. Lately, with his boy Bush on the way out, he's been keeping himself busy. Boone's been buying up the water rights to the largest aquifer in the United States, so that he can drain it and pipe the water all the way to Dallas for big profits. The problem was folks realized the idea had dire environmental impacts, and not everybody was willing to sell their land for the pipeline. Well, Pickens, still living in his version of no country country for old men is not used to the word no, so Pickens figured he'd just take it. With the help of some local politicos, Boone established a water district, which could invoke eminent domain and force people to give up their land. But people, unsurprisingly, still oppose the plan. So what's an oil man to do? Why let property, the environment and democracy stand in your way when you can just greenwash it? People love green. So Boone put together an amendment to an energy bill in the Texas legislature that would permit him to build a water pipeline right alongside the power transmission lines. At the same time, another bill was being passed that made it easier for a water district to invoke eminent domain. And that leads us right up to today, where you see a billionaire oil man pushing a $50 million campaign that should be about wind, but really it's about water. And good old fashioned, environmentally destructive profit. The response to all this in the panhandle has been less than enthusiastic, as evidenced by this documentary footage. What do you want, you lily-livered, dog-faced, city dude? Now, you, you notice a quaint way they express themselves down here? It's just a pose, you know, to mask their big heartedness. If you want to have some fun or just waste some time, you should check out our community site. We've got lots of people blogging about all kinds of things, like Adeline, a British science junkie, or Jack, a vegan writer in LA, or Sarah, who's a naturist and just doesn't like wearing clothes. It takes all kinds. And the best blog entry this week wins this, sponsored by buygreen.com. There's a link in our show notes. So as green as you are, you might know that you don't need the latest gadget, but sadly, you might want it. Trust me, I get it. But when your consumerism passes your green inclinations, what are you to do? Well, thankfully, it turns out you can have your iPhone and eat it too. If you've got a game console, a cell phone, or an iPod to get rid of, check out buymytronic.com. Submit some information about the type and condition of your Tronic, ship it to them, and they will pay power you money in return. Don't like the cut of their jib? Check out secondrotation.com. They take all the stuff Mytronix does, plus GPS units, camcorders, laptops, and cameras. But if you're not comfortable with uncertainty and you want to know exactly how much you're going to get for something before you buy it, check out techforward.com. When you buy an item, you can purchase a guaranteed buyback price based on how long you own it. And if you just have a cell phone and want a new one fast, check out flipswap.com. You bring your phone into a flip swap retailer, slam that mother down and say you want to flip swap this bitch. They will take a look at it, give you store credit, and talk behind your back about that strange girl that came in and slammed her phone down like that. Thanks for watching, and remember all the links to our show can be found in our show notes, and be sure to check us out at zaproot.com. Bitches. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.